I would dig a thousand holes to lay next to you. I would dig a thousand more if I needed to. I look around the This is all I can look at now. Never where I've been, only where I'm going. Joy. You can't understand the pressure when you make just a ripple. It's funny. Everyone wants to be different, but they hate someone who truly is. But, to be honest, I, I don't think even they meant for it to end this way. There's Maria. Even now the regret that I never told her could move me to tears. And there's the doctor, right on time to assess his catch of the day. He seems nice, but if he's here to save my life, he's already too late. Then there's the car that set me free. Normal enough, yes. I, I turned down the first because it was... It, it wasn't normal. Funny how irony works, isn't it? That's the very seat that Maria sat in when the car she was travelling in set me free. My saviour too late. I whisper empty sounds in your ear and hope that you won't This is the man who ran me down, Maria's father. He's trying to explain to the policeman that I jumped in front of his car. Uh, he's right, but he won't be believed. Another condemned hero. This is my best friend Kyle, faithful till the end. I trust him to take Maria home. Take her to where she's normal. And this, this is my final heartbeat, racking my body. This is my last breath, leaving my lungs. This is the story of how I died. My final tale, the last chapter. This is the story of my time in the doghouse. Big fine hunt. Big bin fry. You never can tell. That's what I like about you. So, what job are you hunting for this week? Horse whisperer? <laughs> Hypnotist? Oh, still trying to save the world one mind at a time. No! Well, a bit. Would be nice, wouldn't it? That's what I don't understand about you. You're trying to, like, you're trying to learn everything about the world. Life's a lot more interesting when there's some unknown entity luring you in. Yeah, I guess. Are you coming? Or are you going to uh, sleep with the ferris tonight? <laughs> it's getting a bit lonely out here with just the crickets to talk to. Yeah, I'm just admiring the scenery. Maria, we come out here every day. 
There's not much more to see than you do anyway. I'm very moody. I want to go travelling. See things. Don't know. If I need someone to take me. Well, I might be travelling a bit sooner than you might want. Look at the scholarship! <laughs> That's wonderful! Yes, but... Where is it from? That's the thing. I got a few weeks ago, but I've been unsure what to do. It's in England, in the south. This place called Alton. It's meant to have one of the best English departments in the world. Oh, I can't leave all this behind. Leave you behind. You can't stay because of me. Well, you've seen what I write. Poetry? Yes, but it's about people. It's inspired. Oh. Not now. No, go to England. Take what you want, Marco. Take a leave. She got off the bus one day in a crowded depot downtown LA She looked around as if to say I'm home Well I'm home I find someone to love and some place to drink And some time when I can just sit and think And I don't mind if I catch the stink of these drones Lord of these drones Just as long as I'm never Porcelain plates and skin as thin as paper drapes And she loved the Lord the way an apple stay loves songs And she'd sing to him before she went to sleep I pray to you, my soul, to keep your shepherd Then I'll be your sheep until dawn Oh, until dawn Happen. I haven't. I haven't even. I just need a when you said goodbye to me earlier. You didn't really mean it. Well, right. I. I, I just wanted to see you. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. Now tell me why you would drag a girl out here. On sunset, the day we leave to go to another country. I don't know. Do you think I'm good enough? I think you know you're good enough. Now tell me why we're really here. You would have, you would have been good enough. I know nothing. Not anymore. But why, why not? Because would have is the right word. We look for it. See? Here we were happy. Now we could have worked. Or where are we? About the party with that man off the other side. No, I mean, we're in relation to each other. We're together. Exactly. I think to be together, you have to be together. I, I guess. I want you, Marco. I do. But I just, I'm with selfish. I don't want to hurt. You don't want to hurt. But if we're going to get hurt, if we are so far apart from each other, I'm more than a friend. But I mean, I'm not saying it would never work. I mean, maybe one day it'll come back. That'd be really nice. But...
And the mistiness, Maria. The, the laziness. We're just, we're just so peaceful. That's a problem. It's, it's nothing dynamic. I'd love to come with you. Why not? Why don't you? You know come. I can't. I plus I've longed for that sunset. Yeah, so I think I'm going to miss that most of all. I see how it is. Losing in the pecking order to a natural phenomenon. <laughs> but that's because you shine all the time. Someday, I'll come back and sweep you up. If this is the war of the worlds, then I don't want to be a part. If this is the war of the worlds, then I don't want to be a part. Too busy, too busy, too busy to talk, you said I wouldn't know. Too busy, too busy, too busy to understand it's time to go. And so the next time that you need me, don't expect a call. And this is the weight of the world. I think it's time for us to part. And this is the weight of the world. I think it's time for us to part Too busy, too busy, too busy To talk, you said I wouldn't know Too busy, too busy, too busy To understand it's time to go And so the next time that you need me Don't expect to call Don't expect to call